Hi there. When I made the video about my small test generator, when I put it online, I got uh, emails asking me how this is working, um, how to connect the coils one to another, the polarity, how many uh, coils, uh, how thick the wire, um, what's the voltage, what's the current, and so I decided that this time when I show how to build the voltage tabli, I would start with the theory first. So I will show you all how this is working. And after we have ha covered the theory, we can do the uh, making of the actual uh, voltage doubler in parts. So let's start. What do I want to show you here? I want to cover first some basics. What is alternating current and the parts of the voltage doubler, meaning what is a capacitor and what is a diode. I will do it uh, quite quickly, I will not go deep into it, just so that you know what's going on and you can then um, for yourself build this uh, thing. Okay, let's start. So what is an alternating current? You know the generator produces alternating current AC, not DC, not direct current. What is AC? So, when this is the voltage, and this is the time, then alternating current is something like this, and so on. So, the voltage changes its value over time. Now, what is a direct current? A direct current is such a current, it does not change over time, it stays constant. So in the beginning of electricity there were only batteries and batteries generate direct current. So when the first alternating current uh, came, people wanted to be able to compare these two. They wanted to say, okay, let's say a light bulb powered with 10 volts direct current, we want to be exactly as brightly lit as a light bulb uh, uh, powered by 10 volts of alternating current. And there is a problem in this because alternating current changes its power all the time. Overall it may hold a, a, a constant power, but in very short fractals of time it changes. So people had to find a way to compare direct current to alternating current so that direct current 10 volts equals uh, uh, alternating current 10 volts. And people um, researched and found out that when they take the direct current and they multiply it with the root of 2, then they get the peak value of the sine wave, which has exactly the same power as the direct current. And if you take this alternating current, you put it here, and this part you put, let's say, here, then you have made direct current from alternating current. Okay, so um, they found the value to um, which can be called um, uh, equal to direct current and the peak voltage here, this one, the peak voltage is um, the effective voltage, effective, meaning this, multiplied by the root of 2. Okay, 
So now you know what alternating current is and direct current. The next thing is what is a diode. A diode is a thing that lets through current only in one direction. So imagine if this would be a diode then I can push electrons this way but not that way. And if I want to revert the current then I have to build the part the other way, like this. Then it can flow in this direction, but not in this direction. There are three main groups of diodes. Uh, silicon diodes, for example. Germanium diodes. and Schottky diodes. The main difference of these diodes, apart from their building material, is the voltage. Um, such a diode does not let the um, uh, current go through below a certain voltage. When the voltage raises above a certain voltage, then this uh, thing lets the current go through. And this voltage is at, uh, from the silicon uh, diodes at 0.7 volts. For germanium uh, diodes it is 0.3 volts. And for Schottky diodes it is 0.2 volts. Okay, so you know what a diode is. What is a cap capacitor? A capacitor is a unit to store electrical energy, but not like a battery. A battery um, stores the vo voltage, the current, the energy in chemical form, while a capacitor stores the electrical energy in electrical or physical form. It's just two plates very near to one another or foil, metallic foil, can be wrapped. Um, and there are different uh, versions of capacitors. I just want to point out one, the uh, electrolyte uh, capacitors, because I, I'm using those uh, in, in the uh, voltage doubler. And this kind of capacitor can only have one polarity. If you um, connect them the wrong way, then they can explode. Because then the uh, electrolyte in it will turn to gas and gas is uh, making pressure and this thing explodes. You can look it up on the internet. There are nice videos of exploding capacitors. People like to do this sometimes. Um, if you do that, be careful. Alright. So now you know what a capacitor is, what a diode is, what alternating current is. Then we can actually start to do um, the circuit of the voltage doubler. I decided I would do a Dellen voltage doubler. Uh, I will start with a part of it first. We have a generator, generator, and this generator puts its electrons through a diode, and this diode connects to a capacitor, and this capacitor connects to the generator. Now, when you, see, when you look at the sine wave, you can see that one half sine wave is positive and one half sine wave is negative. As this diode is blocking one half wave, only one half wave is coming through, not both. So, this, um, this 
generator can load this, can charge this um, capacitor only with one half of the sine wave. Okay, so we have here 